So what I wanted to uh, begin with is to go over the idea of reflection and go over the problem we were doing in class last time. Um, so as you know, we said with, with the law of reflection is that uh, when you have a ray hitting a reflective surface, um, it bounces off. As we'll see, if the surface is only partially reflective, part of the ray goes through also. We'll talk about that next. That's refraction. But let's just talk about the reflection first. So the ray that gets reflected off the surface, if the surface is plain and smooth, um, at that point, the incoming ray and the outgoing ray are such that the angle of incidence as measured relative to the line that's perpendicular to the surface. So you draw what's called the normal to the surface. That's a line perpendicular to the surface at the point where the ray hits. So if I measure the angle relative to that normal, that's called the angle of incidence. Then I look at the reflected ray, and once again, I measure the angle relative to the normal. That's called the angle of reflection. And the law of reflection tells you that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So those two angles are equal. Now, what would happen? So this is called specular ref reflection. If the surface was not smooth, this would still be true at every point on the surface. However, if I look over the entire surface, if it has bumps, then um, the reflected rays are not all going to be going into your eyes at the same time. They'll be reflecting, obeying the law of reflection locally. So then um, the surface, when you look at it, it won't look as bright and shiny as it would if it were nice and planar. Okay, so it'll look a little more diffuse. So that's called diffuse reflection. So when you see metal um, that's not shiny, that looks... Um, a little more matte finish like. That means what's going on is that the surface has been roughed up a little um, and the rays are not all reflecting at the same angle. Now, if I have a very reflective surface, either a mirror or as in the old days, people would make mirrors out of pieces of metal that were polished really well and those were very good mirrors too. <clears throat> now, the way you make a mirror is that you take a piece of transparent or semi-transparent glass and you put a backing on it. So, uh, uh, most of the light then bounces back off. So, if I have a mirror or a reflective surface, um, when I look in the mirror, I get uh, an image formed. And as we said last time, this is a virtual image because... What's happening is that the light rays are bouncing off and entering your eyes, and your eyes think the rays are traveling in straight lines and are coming from the source, which is behind the mirror. But of course, there's nothing behind the mirror. Your eye just tells you there's something behind the mirror. So what you see is called a virtual mirror, uh, image. And that's where light rays appear to emanate from. 